12 people are under arrest for allegedly beating up people at various polling stations in Kamuli. Police impounded sticks, motorcycles and boats. The event in total contrast to a peaceful exercise earlier in the day. At 6 a.m. at the Electoral Commission head offices in Kamuli town, the police constables and other electoral officials collected the voting materials that were distributed to 331 polling stations. Security was tight in an election that comes after the Ginger High Court nullified the results of Ahmed Kawugu Kawoya, saying he lacked qualifications. FDC Salam Sumba cast her vote at Namwendwa. It has been touted as a two-horse race pitting Musumba and NRM Thomas category along with six others. If in case you don't make it, are you ready to concede without act, you know, involving yourself I mean, in acts I mean, of violence? You see, I'm not a violent person. Whatever happens, are you ready to concede in case? Yeah, but depending on the, on the way the, the exercise goes, the information that we are getting that there are some irregularities or inconsistencies that have been so far discovered and I'm talking to one of the supervisors in the area. So could you tell us what could be the problem? Uh, the few inconsistencies around uh, with the voter register which the cover page mentions 538 voters and inside it says 548. In the heart of Kamuli town Independent candidate Isanga Charles went about his business drinking. I don't go through. I will continue with my business and I wouldn't like to get any support from the government because I pay tax. Polls closed at 5 p.m. and counting started. And this will be followed by tallying at the district headquarters. Before tallying is finished, the people are already in jubilation mode. And before morning, Kamuli residents could know their new LC5 chairperson, Sidil Biarhanga, NTV Kamuli.